King of the Mountain. Welcome back to King of the Mountain. It's time for the final qualifying race of Tournament 2. Up first, we have El Abuelo, driven by Yaniel. Abuelo, doesn't that mean grandpa in Spanish? Dude, I'm the wrong guy to ask about that. I just read what it says. Either way, it's a Hot Wheels flat out 442, weighing in at 112.3 grams. Up next, we have Gold Speed, driven by Leadfoot. The Gold Speed is a Hot Wheels governor. So we have a grandpa and a governor. Apparently so. The Gold Speed weighs in at 98.8 grams. This one's kind of pushing the limits on the realistic car rule. Yeah, we'll wait till you see the next one. Oh boy. Next we have batteries included, driven by CJ of the CH Machine Shop. I mean, where are the side windows on that car? Yeah, just that one detail would make this car look a whole lot better. Batteries included is a Roger Dodger 2.0, and it weighs in at 65.5 grams. Let's see what the last one is. We've got Von Solo driven by Obi-Wan. I like the name, but what's up with this van? Seriously, are people just sending in junk now? The original retro look is cool, but come on, where's the windshield? Let's just say he's lucky he picked the name Von Solo. Otherwise, this might have got disqualified. It doesn't even have any Star Wars decals. Looks like the back window is cracked too. Anyways, this non-Star Wars windshield missing van is a Hot Wheels inside story, weighing 80.7 grams. Here we go, it's a battle for the last spot in the tournament between these, I guess we can call them experimental cars. Yeah, that's a nice way of putting it. We've got Leadfoot currently out in the lead in that governor. Obi-Wan in second. I'm hoping the force is not with him today. Oh, come on, don't be so hard it's on It's the 3D bot maker king of the mountain and you couldn't find a windshield for your van? Yeah, I see your And point. you had the choice to send in almost any vehicle. True, but maybe it's sentimental to Then them. find a sentimental windshield to go with the van. You're really triggered by the missing windshield, Who's aren't you? Who's these cars anyways? Uh, and don't say Susan, she's pointing right at you, too. And Leadfoot takes the first win, he has five points, and look at CJ. Was Obi-Wan patting his car with a little bit of cash in the package? Look, man, I was weak. It was a Jedi mind trick. A Jedi mind trick? His form said, this is the van you're looking for. I'm so disappointed in it you. It was hard to resist. I'm not trained in the Force. Plus, there was no windshield requirement in the rules. It didn't seem like it was necessary to specify that in the rules. So but... technically, it's your fault. No, I mean... And look who just took the lead. It's Obi-Wan. Maybe he'll pull a McClyde right here. 3D. I'm just saying. That's uncalled for. And unfortunately, Obi-Wan has a big lead. He's handling those corners very well. And he will pick up his first win of the night, followed by Leadfoot. And there's Yaniel, CJ taking his sweet time approaching the finish. There he goes, whoa! A little fender bender between Leadfoot and CJ. And we've got a tie between Leadfoot and Obi-Wan, both of them with eight points. There's still two races to go. Obi-Wan handling those corners very well. Look at that, nice and smooth. Yeah, he is handling the track quite well, although I believe his speed would be a little bit faster. Don't say it. If Come on. he had a windshield. Come on, let it go. It's gotta be affecting his aerodynamics. Here we go with race three. We've got Obi-Wan and CJ starting off in the front row. Right now the race seems to be between Leadfoot in the governor and Obi-Wan in that van. I guess you could call it that. Obi-Wan out in the lead again. Let's see how he handles the corner. Leadfoot currently in second. Obi-Wan taps the side wall but straightens it out right away. He's approaching the final corner. Clean out that corner. And Obi-Wan will pick up his second win, putting him in the lead right now. He has 13 points. Leadfoot in second with 11 points. Yaniel with five, CJ with three. So those two are really out of this race. So the real competition on this final race will be between Obi-Wan and Leadfoot. Only a two point gap between those two drivers. Both of them will be starting in the back row. Obi-Wan will be starting behind CJ in the Roger Dodger 2.0 and Leadfoot behind Yan Yell in the flat out 442. Who's gonna take that final spot in tournament two of King of the Mountain? CJ pulling ahead on the first straightaway. Obi-Wan bump drafting around that first corner. Yan Yell not too far behind in that yellow 442. Leadfoot falling way behind in fourth place. CJ maintaining the lead around that second turn. He's got a Jedi in his rear view mirror. Yeah, I'm doubting he has a rear view mirror. He doesn't even have side windows. And here they come to the finish. And the fourth race will go to CJ. Obi-Wan comes in second. And that means Obi-Wan will be advancing on to the second King of the Mountain tournament. Hey, what can I say? The Force was strong with this one. He may have had the Force, but he really didn't have that much speed. I think his fastest track time was in the 18 second range. Yeah, but you gotta keep in mind, he's a Jedi. It's not all about speed. Well, he's a Jedi in a race, which is pretty much all about speed. Remember a wise Jedi once said, speed leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. Yeah, no, that, that's fear, not speed. Fear leads to anger. Oh. Well, another wise person said, racing fast in van, drive it off a mountain cliff, you won't race again. Was that a haiku? Uh, let's see, five, seven, five. 
Uh, yeah. Hey, that's pretty impressive. Thank you. And there you have it. The bracket is full. That can only mean one thing. It's time to get started with the second tournament in King, King of, of the, the Mountain. Mountain.